All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode 14 of John and Eric's epic adventures into Skyrim. So we're here in the basement, and we have on our smithing gear, and I figured I would show all of this. So this is all of our, the uh, fortify by nine equipment. And we're gonna be doing a lot this episode. The first thing that we're gonna be doing is taking Wuthrad and buffing it way the heck up, right? So in, in the same way that we did our uh, hunting, hunt, excuse me, our hunting knife and then Eric's sword and our sword. So we're gonna be using it on the grindstone because you know, Yorlin may admit, Yorlin Grayman reforged it, but he kind of slapped it back together. We're gonna make it good, right? The next thing that we will be doing is heading all the way up here to Iskrimor's tomb, where we're probably gonna go punch some ghosts, I guess. I'm not really sure exactly what's going to happen. During, it w I don't know if it was our last episode or the, I think it was the episode before last. One of the things that we did is we put a scroll of Mark and Recall at the College of Winterhold. And we still have a bunch of those scrolls, right? Here they are. So we are going to be casting one of these. So instead of taking the carriage, which would be 750 gold, we can use one of these to quickly get up there. So that'll be a piece of cake, right? And it'll be instant too. Won't take any time. And uh, so that'll that'll basically be the episode. So I don't remember what Wuthrad actually needs in order to be honed. I don't know if we have the material. I think I already grabbed it, right? It was one ebony ingot. So we're gonna boost it from about 285 to four hundred. Wow. Look, look at its value, too. Like, the actual cash value. It doubles it. Just from one ebony ingot. So, that is pretty freaking cool. So, there is one ridiculously overpowered sword. We could hone our silver greatsword to be a little bit stronger, too. Can we get it up? No, that is, like, the maximum we can possibly do it. So, we have it at a godly level, right? However, we are over encumbered right now. So what are we going to drop off? Um, well, we have 130 Nordic arrows, and I think well, we should switch back into our other gear. That would help a little bit, right? So, not the Amulet of Devella. We'll put on that. Um, no, I think we will put on our Amulet of Devella and the Mask of Papus file, and we're going to run around a little bit and see if we can't sell a few items here. I don't know exactly what we would be selling specifically. Uh, we can sell this thing, right? We already know it. Um, I hope this isn't what's clogging our inventory, right? <sighs> yeah, it's definitely just gotta be Wuthrad here that's causing us problems. Then maybe what we might do is leave behind our Skyforge Steel Greatsword and just run around with the Silver Greatsword because they're, they're comparable. In their damage output. I mean, it, it I think, because this thing has a carry weight of 25, which is ridiculous. And we also don't have a beef stew active. So, oh, there we go. What, what did I do? Did I do something to my inventory? Oh, I put on the armor. I see. When we put on our armor, it has a uh, carry weight bonuses. So we just had to put on our armor. Now we can move again. I was like, what just happened? So, oops, that is not what we were trying to put away. Um, where is it? Where is our uh, smithing? There it is. I feel like I failed to deposit something that we actually cared about, so there it is. Are we? Oh, you know what it is? We are still wearing the smithing. That's what it was. It's like, what the heck? So we'll put on our... Magic resist ring. Why don't I... I favorited it, so that'll be a little bit easier for future Alan to figure out what the heck's going on. So, I think that'll be it. So what we'll do, I'm gonna run around a little bit. We're gonna sell some of the 131 Nordic arrows in my inventory, as well as, well as these, because this is way too many. And from there, we will cast a squirrel and head up to Winterhold. So, we'll see if there's anything else we have to do while we're in town. We, we might sell some potions, because I believe the, uh, the vendors... Oh my god, it is 3 a.m., so we'll sleep... We'll eat some food, we'll sell some items, and then we'll head to Winterhold. 
All right, we're we're back here. We uh, we sold a couple of goods. We're up to fifty two thousand gold. Good lord. Um, I don't think we can do any training on this level. But the what we wanted to do, because uh, I was trying to think, where are we going to use this scroll, right? Where would be like the best place to do it? And I realized that because you want to teleport kind of in like a safe place where nobody else is going to be. And I realized that it would be up here, right? That this is probably, oh my goodness, Eric, you got to be a little bit more careful there. The safest place that you could probably do a teleport is up at the top of our house. Like way, if I can, can I? yeah, way up here, right? Nobody's going to bug us up here. And uh, I don't know if it can actually work on like, yeah, there we go. So Eric's close enough that it'll work on him now. Ah, Eric, don't push me. Here, we'll get... Try try and make sure Eric's standing and ready for this, right? So, oh, I, you know what? We uh, we can't equip our weapon. We have to scroll. So, here we go. You ready? Because I've, I've never actually used one of these, but if we use it again while we're up in Winterhold, it should teleport us back to here. I think it teleports you to the last place that you used it, right? So here we go. All right, hold on, Eric. Did it? Did it work? I didn't work. Okay, hold on. Let's try it again. I don't. I don't think I had it fully charged. There we go. <laughs> Watch it like completely bugs out, crashes the game. Did it work? It worked! Oh, it worked! It actually worked! Cool, okay. We're both like... Nice, I mean, of course it worked. Of course it worked. So, did we get any skill level ups from that? No, the, the first time we used it, it gave us like level eight conjuration, which was really cool. So we're back. Hooray! I think the college is due for a change in leadership. One of the things we wanted to do before we left here was sell some of our potions of invisibility so it's like four thousand gold we are now way up here so we're like a, a quick stone's throw away from uh from iskumor's tomb i'm gonna say we don't have our horses right so i'm not even gonna summon them because we like how how would we teleport our horses that doesn't make sense from a role playing perspective but that's okay because we would have had to go through like icy water Anyway, so I don't think, and I think it's right down there, right? Is that Isumar's tomb? Are we literally looking at it? I think we are. Oh, no, no, that's like on the island here. We need to go to, I think over there, right? Where that, where that uh, word wall is with the potential dragon. Oh, boy. But I think that's the island we're looking for over there is Isumar's tomb. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell a couple of potions, and then we're going to head on down there. And we'll showcase we're anything interesting that we might expose. Eric wanted his pay to send back to his father. So, all right, we'll, we'll sell some potions. Keep our, uh, our weapons out just in case we come across any other wolves trying to freaking kill us. Look, one of the ancient Nord ruins. Who knows what's down there? I don't know, but, oh, this is, is this it? We found it. I mean, I think we found it, right? It's Rumor's tomb. How do we get inside? Is there, like... A way in? Climb up on top. Ah, okay. Looks like the others are already here. They lit a uh, nice fire for us. So we don't freeze to death. That's good. But we're not cold yet, so I guess we'll just head inside. Imagine if we, like, forgot the axe. This is the resting place of Iskramor and his most trusted generals. You should be cautious. Um, why do we need to be cautious? The original companions, Draugr, their finest Damn warriors, it, rest with East Grimoire. You'll have to prove yourselves to them. It's not that you're intruding. I'd wager they've actually expected us. They just want to be sure that you're worthy. Be ready for an honorable battle. All right, honors my middle name. I have many middle names. How do we get inside? Return Wuthra to Isgrimor. It should open the way. 
All right. Until next time. We'll see if he's coming or not, but I, I'm like I'm assuming he is. All right. Oh, come on, save. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Uh, so here we are, Wuthrad, right? Super, super Wuthrad. I hear something moving. There it is. The door has opened. The path is clear. We're not gonna take any of this stuff. It looks uh, ceremonial. And we also know that silver is gonna be pretty helpful here. So, all right, let's go. Wait, oh my God, you guys are so disrespectful. For God lack. Anything else this way? No, it looks like that's the exit. All right, let's go for honorable battle. Oh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I need breakfast. You can't do this on an empty stomach. Beef stew, wine, there we go. And uh, just to be sure, right, we'll use bone of her seat. Get away okay. from me. Okay, Ayla. Oh! Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, we do, Eric. Oh. You're not welcome here? Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess... I guess we can't loot the ghosts. That's fine. They're like, oh, well, we're welcomed here. Never should have come here. Maybe they're just trying to spook us. Nope. Nope. Get out of here. Oh, wow, nice. Level up. All right, what we got, what we got? Nothing, anything. I like how the um, the tombs don't drop. It's literally, they, like they step out of it. I think that's really cool. Lots of ruined books. Are we going up or do we just come from up? No, we just came from up there. So, so where are we going? Oh, it's this way. You missed. Oh. Oh my God, Eric, be careful. Goodness. Critical strike on Spoopy Ghost. I don't think there's gonna be any loot here. Unfortunately, yeah, we'll just keep pushing forward. What's the hurry? Uh, well, I mean, take a bag of gold. Oh god, spiders. Nope. Nope. Wow. Whoa! Pretty well. All things considered. I missed. But we did kill it. All right, let's take a, uh, what is this, a Pothen of Health regen? Yeah, sure, why not? Where did we find? It made it sound like we, we found something, but it's the way forward. Oh, nope. No. Bad, oh. <laughs> Bad spider. Yo, we can harvest venom from these guys. So we'll do that really, really quickly. It shouldn't be too hard. So now we have way too much. What are you doing? I can't go any further, Shield Brother. Why not? Ever since Dustman's Cairn, the big crawly ones have been too much for me. Ah. Uh. Everyone has his weakness, and this one is mine. I'm not proud, but I will stay back with Vilkas. Give my regards to Ysgrimor. It's okay, I feel that. 
Spiders can be a lot. Especially big hairy spiders. Where's everybody else? Who? So who we got? All right. Um, it occurred to me, we have not done any healing auras. Or Halo 2. All right, silver. No, we don't need any more spider eggs. Ugh. Ugh. But what we got? What we got? We might be able to find some loot. We'll, we'll see, right? Uh, and... So that probably to close it again. Did you hear something? Mortal. Hello. Don't call me a fool. Yo. Oh, okay. We can't actually perform rites on it. That would have been crazy if we could. Oh wow, Eric's uh, Dawnbreaker triggered on that one. Anything cool in here? Yeah. I don't normally collect bone meal, but you know. We'll do what we can. So let's see, we just came from that direction. Watch what you're doing. Hmm? Oh, oh, okay. Ancient Nordic battle axe. I think it's this way. Looking good. I'm just happy all the dead are re or mostly dead. Oh my god, he blocked me. He's level Oh! He's level three and he blocked it. What? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good job, Halo. <laughs> An Imperial Bow? Seems slightly unlikely. I'll take the stamina potion. Uh oh, what do I hear? Sounds like traps. Maybe it's just footsteps. Here, let's do... We're gonna do a quick save. And we're also gonna do... I don't know... If we had um, gameplay yet, save on travel set up. So that way if we ever pass through a door to a, a new loading cell, we're okay. Might be that way. I think we have to pull like this handle here. That's what it looks like. No traps? Okay, that's suspicious. It's very suspicious, but okay. Oh, he backed up. Nope. Nope. You think I'm afraid of Hmm. So what we got? Any anything cool here? Looks like a magic potion. It's like that, why not? And a two-handed book, the legendary Sanctuary. Yeah, we'll take that too. Add it to the collection, right? We hadn't read it before. Always good to add books to our collection. Who knows what secrets we'd uncover? Most definitely, Eric. All right, all right, heads up. Codlac. It's Codlac. Greeting, Shield Brother. Is that you? Of course. My fellow Harbingers and I have been warming ourselves here, trying to evade Husey. There's nobody else here. You see only me because your heart knows only me as the companion's leader. I'd wager old Vignar could see half a dozen of my predecessors. And I see them all. The ones in Sovereign The ones trapped with me in Hearsay's realm. And they all see me. You've brought honor to the name of the companions. We won't soon forget it. Uh, Vilgus said you can still be cured. Did he now? I can only hope. You still have the witch's heads. Excellent. Throw one of them into fire. It will release their magic. For me, at least. Alright. Let's burn a witch's head. Ready? Flame of the Harbinger. Ooh. Alright, here we go. What are we fighting here? What? I I feel like I didn't contribute that much. Thanks, thanks, Ayla. 
Well, well, Codlack was doing this weird thing, and the wolf was there, and I was like, do we do we hit Codlack? That was pretty easy. Okay. Greeting, shield brother. We've killed your spirit beast. And so slain the beast inside of me. I mean, wait, we. I thank you for this gift. The other harbingers remain trapped by hearsay. Perhaps from Sovereign Guard, the heroes of old can join me in their rescue. The harrowing of the hunting grounds. It would be a battle of such triumph. And perhaps someday, you'll join us in that battle. But for today, return to your master. Triumph in your victory. And lead the companions to further glory. I... Did I hear right? Did he say you were to lead the companions? I'm supposed... Uh... <laughs> You you mad, bro? He did it, he. You've earned the right. Your strength and honor are apparent to all. And it's my honor to be first to address you as Harbinger. Let's go tell the others. All right. The uh I think we have to come back later in order to cure ourselves, but we'll we'll see how that goes, right? We can collect the the bones of the machine. Oh. This is this is Isgrimor's tomb. Ooh. That, I, I gotta be honest, it was almost disappointing how anticlimactic that final battle was. Oh, ah, this is why you always look around. Ancestors ever walk these halls. This is why you always search, right? Couple of these, nice. Gold diamond circlet, potion to fortify carry weight. The shield of Iskramor. Increases its wielder's life force and protects them from magical harm. Wow. And it's worth 50,000 gold. So we'll pick that up. Uh, stamina regenerates 20% faster. And then a steel plate of alteration. And we're still, we're not going to take this. Still managed to be under carry weight. Very impressive. Let's see, I don't know if... I think this is the, the way out. But before we do that... Ayla went over there. I'm just gonna wander around just a little bit to see if there's anything else up here, right? I mean... It's a ruined books, which is kind of sad. It's always sad to have ruined books. Oh, she's just vibing, right? Oh, good, Farkas, Good to back. see you. Hey, I cured Codlack. He's not a werewolf anymore? Even dead? This is a good thing. Um, yeah, he said I should lead the oh, companions. You don't have to worry about any problems from me. I do what I'm told. Congratulations. Let's see. Uh, are you going back to your Vasker? I go where my brother goes. I think he wants to look around some more. Fair enough. Right then. You know, we might be able to cure them all literally while they're here, which would be pretty cool. I'm still see. Huh? Oh, oh, good. A, a heart. Yeah, we'll take that, right? <laughs> take a heart with us, why not? So... What can I do for you? <sighs> Until next time. I'm gonna do... Well, well, since we're here though, right? I wanna see... I, Cause I've been thinking, right? Do we want to cure ourselves from lycanthropy? And I think... The first thing that we're going to do as Harbinger of the Companions is cure ourselves. This is going to make us more vulnerable because it will take away our 100 point health buff. But it will also be like a very strong act as the leader of the Companions. I don't know if using it's actually going to do this, but we're, we're going to find out. Cast the witch's head into the flames to cure yourself of lycanthropy forever. I think we're gonna do it. What was that? That was pretty easy. Uh, it says I'm over encumbered, which is kind of weird. I think it's because I have a bunch of witches' heads in my inventory. Hello, friend. Oh, I guess it isn't forever, right? Um. 
Is it possible for us to cure them? Let's, I'll take my leave then. Let's find out. Like, what do we? What happens if we try to do it again? Nothing. It's always good to see someone I can count on. I'd be honored, Harbinger. Can we cure them? This this is what I'm testing out, right? Like, can we? Let's get going. Um. Okay, I have a Fine. task for you. What? What? Can she use it? Will do. No, I guess it? not. All right. So we'll we'll figure out can how I to do you? that later if we can uh, cure them, right? Stick close. This place gives me the creeps. Let's see. I don't think we can, at least right now. Uh, what's up with this? Hold on. Oh, it's time for us to part ways. I'm heading home. If you need me. Okay, there we go. So, Eric, Eric, get back here, Eric. It just feels right somehow. No problem. How can I help? Oh, let's give him this new shield, right? Because this this is going to be his shield, definitely. I don't know how it compares with his current shield, but. 271 versus 297, so it's already significantly better, right? Is there anything else you need? Ooh. Very fancy. Look how it looks on his back too. At first, I thought I'd miss one. So what do you big want shield. Play? We'll give him some of the other stuff that's clogging our inventory here. So like this, and I thought we had picked up something else too. Um. Yeah, a couple of other things. Why are we so over encumbered? Like, what happened? I don't know. Maybe it's those uh, the witch heads are no longer considered quest items, and so as a result. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Great. The very last thing we're gonna do is head up and see if we can grab Wuthrad, because I think we can take it with us, right? It might be unhoned is a possibility, so we'll look at that, but, oh, oh, more loot, more loot, nice, flawless amethyst, and a peridot, nice, where are we going here? Oh, okay, this is, this is the way out, <laughs> it was like, I don't know if I'm just stupid or this is block Trevor. Eric is a bro for accepting dead witch heads to carry, but I mean, we've we've given him a lot of ridiculous stuff, right? May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Uh, I cured Godlack. Yes, you brought honor to him, even after his death. A worthy outcome for a worthy warrior. Cool. Uh, Godlack said I should lead the companions. You had told Tell me everyone. a few months ago that some outsider I had never heard of would lead the companions. I might have slit your throat. But I've seen what you can do, and heard of the love that Kadlak had for you. The trust. Let's hope you can show that his heart was not deceived. Good luck, my friend. Yeah. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Can we take this back? Yes. So we're over encumbered, but that's OK. This new armor fits me. Of course. Is it? Oh no! I was like, "Oh my God, where's the sword?" Um, it's here. And look, it maintained the buff. Excellent. What else you need? So what we'll do is we will make our way outside, and I think we'll head back. Right? I don't know what our next adventure is going to be. Hmm. We should probably bring Wuthrad back to White Run. I feel like that would be kind of a reasonable thing to do. We'll go back up to Winterhold or the College of Winterhold because I think it teleports you to your previous location. So we want to be up near the college when we do that. And uh, then we'll figure out what the next steps are. Maybe we'll finally continue on this quest, right? So we'll figure that out. Funghouse says yes. Oh, look at this place. This is like it's above the ooh, above the the gatehouse. That'd be a kind of a nice place to summon to, right? I think we should try and land on the uh the snow down there. All right. 
or the uh yeah let's go for it all right here we go i don't know if this this will work oh. <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness uh uh Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, um that was close. Yeah, we definitely have decreased health now. So, we need to be careful. So here, we'll, we'll heal for a little bit. The air is biting cold. All right, let's use our uh, scroll of mark and recall, and we'll head back. All right. Do I miss bearing, being a werewolf? I mean, you don't feel as strong, but... And there we are, see? We are back to where... We were summoned. Where's Eric? Hey, there he is. Eric is fine. See? He's all set. So we'll go back down inside. See, and we summon into a place where we knew that we'd be safe. So it's perfect. All right. One of the fun things we can do today, just for fun, right, is to work on these trophies. I think we should. Why don't we work on these uh, these trophies here? Oh, we could have a dragon skull trophy. Um, hmm. All right, we're back. We're we're covered in blood from killing ghosts, apparently, or maybe that was from the skeever that we killed. I don't know. But we we decided we're gonna fill out these trophy cases because they look so empty and boring, and we need to do something here, right? So we already went and gathered a lot of the materials, figured out what we were gonna do. So right here, we are going to have our slaughter fish decoration, right? Very nice. Right here, we are going to put pro probably a mud crab, I guess, right? Let's see how that looks. Not bad. And then right here, we will put our ice wolf. Oh my goodness, maybe we should have put the wolf right there. And I don't think, I don't think, wait, how do we, how do we deconstruct them? That's it, huh? Once they're constructed, that's it. Is there any way that we can, uh... I... F nah, well, we'll just leave them that way, right? And then for here, we're gonna... We, we we're trying to decide if we should do a, a spider or a saber cat. I'm gonna do a quick save this time. And... Well, I assumed that you were able to remove them, but I guess not, right? So here's our our terrifying saber cat. Not bad. So I'm I'm happy with this uh, this selection here. We uh, can't change it, so I, it's it's a good thing I'm happy with it because because <laughs> that's it. The only thing I probably would have changed was the wolf and this, but no, this is good. Next it thing we're gonna do. Right, Oops! No, no, no. If we don't. Any wood, at first I thought I'd need to fix one. that. No problem. How can I help? What we're gonna do is take Wuthrad, and we're also gonna take your old shield and the shield of Isgrimor, because we're going to hone that shield. Let me know if you need anything. We uh, we've been really impacted by like how how little our carry weight is. The the biggest thing is that. With our carry weight so low, we you can see we had to put away all of our gold, right? Um, could have had three of the same animal, like a like a choir of cows or something. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's true, right? Where should we put the shield of Iskrimor? Or not the shield of Iskrimor, the, the axe, right? Where should we put his axe? I feel like it should be completely separate from everything else. And... We, we can't really fit it up there, right? There's Bouncer and like those special weapons. 
we are definitely going to take down this old iron shield and use Eric's old shield. Oh, that looks way better. But as for Wuthrad, right? That's what I meant. Um, we're not going to put it down here. Right? We want to showcase it, definitely. But, but where? I guess we'll put it right here, right? We'll have it as our uh, primary weapon right here. How will it look? Oh, oh my goodness. So now we're, we're officially starting like a special collection of, of rare... Uh, rare items. We'll take our other ebony thing of exhaustion here and we'll place it there. So that looks okay, right? Eventually we'll move all of our ebony gear up here, right? And the uh, I think we'll move the staff of fireballs down because we already have one like one weapon right there. So we'll we'll pick this up and we'll place our staff of fireballs here. So there's a little bit. Oh, yeah, that looks terrible. Okay, so we <laughs> we won't put a staff of fireballs there. Never mind. That's fine. Put the staff of fireballs right up here. That looks way better. <laughs> but Eric's shield, the the shield of um, Isgrimor, right? That's what it's called. Yeah, let's try and hone this. Let's let's see what it takes. All right, so one ebony ingot, please. And now, oh my goodness, I don't know how much better that actually is. Is it is it better at all? Like, it was at three thirty one, right? So if we just kind of strip naked for a little bit here. It's, it's like barely better. It is better, but only a little bit. I did put everything on, right? Yeah. Huh. Look at the value though. The value increase goes up by like 25,000 gold. So how much well more well honed is it? Let's let's equip it and it'll show us in our inventory here. Um, first rate, sixty five percent. You can see it down over there. So this is definitely a step in the right direction, right? Eric, this congratulations on your awesome you new shield. Wow. There we go. Let's get going then. All right, so we're back. It's a little bit before 7 a.m. You know what? For this part, we can probably put our normal helmet on. Just might save our life today. And we are on our way right now to go and fight some giants. Um, I figured that we would do this before all of the shops open because it'll give us a little bit more time during the day, right? So we'll get on, on Sean Bean here and we'll make our way to the east. Oh no, my little horse! Hold on. Usually I can make that without it being too much of a problem, but... Here we go, Sean. Sean! Alright, so we'll... We'll continue to the Giants and we'll, uh... We'll see how it goes, right? Alright, we're here. We are going to give Eric a healing aura too. No, Eric. Please be careful. Okay. This place is dangerous. We're fighting giants. We'll send you into space. We're definitely gonna start off with our bow. You know that. What else? We will take a beef stew. We, oh, so I grabbed a few other items, by the way, when I was running around selling some stuff offline. Um, I found these lavender honey dumplings that don't weigh that much, and they resist 5% of Magicka for 1,200 seconds. That's like, what was that, five minutes? 
I don't know, math, math, yeah, I think that's five, uh, no, that's 20 minutes, right? Is that 20 minutes? I don't know. Either way, it does it for a decent amount of time. So, yeah, 600 seconds is 10 minutes, so, you know, those will definitely come in handy, so when we see those, we'll, uh, we eat them more often. Giants do not use magic, so we will consume one of these. Oh, cool, my survivor survival skills increase. That's nice. We have our high grade, you can see, uh, okay, high grade bow. Huh. Alright. So it's both of them that we're supposed to be fighting. I say we use the rock formations here to our advantage, right? Oh, okay, there's the other one. Oh. Oh. I don't think it sees us. Which is a perfect opportunity to use a poison. It's probably going to upset both of them. So, there we go. What was that? Oh. Uh oh. Ah! Run! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, where are they? Oh. Run! Ah! Hide in the cliffs. Whoa! What was that? What just happened? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa! What? I... What did we just get knocked down by? It was like we tripped or something. I'm a little bit confused about what happened there, but... Yeah, that was really strange. Do we run out of stamina or something? Or, oh no, we're looking for these, right? Fortify armor rating, stamina increases. There we go. It was just very strange. The giant attacked, but... Whoa! Okay, at least we're escaping. Uh-oh. What's our health at? Reasonably okay. Well, holy crap. I guess we died. <laughs> womp womp. Damn. Damn. I definitely was not expecting that. I guess that's it. Well. So hold on, I'm, I'm a little bit confused though, because we, we got like knocked down, but we were nowhere close any of the giants. They didn't even attack. Do you guys remember that? Like I was a little bit confused about how we got knocked down. Did we like fall or trip on something? So it wasn't these two giants that killed us. It was a third giant Whoa. from behind. Was that? This giant also ended up taking out our horse, too. 
After we died, we decided to head back to the giants just to see if we could take them out on horseback, and this is how it went. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, and that concludes our season of John the Righteous as well as Eric the Slayer. On this save file, we managed to put in almost 90 hours of gameplay and we lasted 45 episodes over two seasons. However, there is still one more option we have. There's one question that's left unanswered. What happened to Eric the Slayer? Now, there are two ways that we can move forward from here. One way, is continuing to use this place uh, play file as Eric the Slayer. So we can reduce our level, adjust some of our stats, and Eric the Slayer will inherit Bree's home, all of the ingredients and gear that we've acquired. He'll continue to use Dawnbreaker, and we'll probably take on the Dawn Guard quest line. So he'll become a Vampire Slayer. The other option is that we start a brand new series with a completely different character in a new world, chances are what we would be doing is something like a wood elf assassin that uses poisons, reverse pickpocketing poisons, to take out their, uh, their targets, which is definitely going to be really cool. It's something a lot more focused on, you know, stealth and thieving and stuff like that. So it'll be a lot more fun in a different way. I'm also a big fan of starting new characters just because it's it's a lot more difficult. You don't have a lot of gear or resources. So you kind of have to scrounge around to get what you can. So those are the two options. We can continue as Eric or we can start a brand new character. And I'm gonna leave it up to you, the community, to decide this. So we're gonna be running a poll through the end of the week. That poll will probably close on Friday, November 18th, 2022 and we will use that to figure out how we move forward from here. So thank you all so much for being part of the journey with basically our first character on this channel. I really appreciate it. So I'll let you know when that poll goes live. You'll see it down in the description as well as what the results are. So have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.